Hey everybody, welcome to Hunt, Sleep, Fish. Today we're black bear hunting with our guide Dawson Powers with Backcountry Outfitters. Stay tuned. Are you ready for Hunt, Sleep, Fish? Stick yours in there somewhere. Yeah, I'll, I'll get up there and look and cut the branches <clears throat> off. Okay. Go back right there. Well, yeah. yeah, that other one's gonna go right in there somewhere. That's why you got that all cleared out. Yeah. Yeah. What we're doing is we come down here since we're running since we're running uh, two guys and of course filming. We gotta put up another stand. So that's what we're doing right now. Found the bait barrel right here. It's gonna be about a 30 yard shot. We're gonna put these stands up and get out of here and we're gonna hunt in the morning. So let's let's get it done and get out of here. We just got in here. The bait station's right there. Dawson brought us in here and we had to put our, our camera guy stand up, so we've been working hard. And we're hoping we're gonna we, we've got about a 30-yard shot. Dawson walked down the trail here and you can tell this bear's coming in from down here and walking up, hitting the bait over here. So we're gonna pull out, regroup a little bit, and uh, probably hunt in the morning, Dawson. Hunt in the morning, hunt in the morning and then in the evening. So it'll be a good hunt. I'm wet. I can't wait for it. Man, this seems like that wind, so I think it's going to be just perfect. Yeah, it's going to be perfect. The wind's going to be blowing normally out of the north, and it will blow right on up over the ridge, and your bait's right there. It'll work out good. Yeah. The bear's coming from the north. Perfect. So Great setup. Perfect. Great setup. This is a neat hunt. This is a fully guided hunt. Dawson and his crew have been in, in on these baits, what, seven days? Seven days now. Checking seven. these baits every day, putting in new bait, and everything's getting hammered, so we're excited. A lot of color up here, too. Yes, yeah, a lot of color phase in the Bighorn Mountains, a ton of color phase. This is going to be awesome. We've got a, a big refuge down the mountain. Yes. This is amazing. There's bear sign everywhere. Well, let's Rocks get turn, there's bear crap everywhere. It's great. <laughs> well, let's get back to camp regroup and yeah. get her done tomorrow.
Hey everybody, welcome back. You can see we've kind of switched it up a little bit. We're in some thick cover. The guide came back into camp and said this bait has been hit really hard. They keep feeling it and feeling it and they can feel it twice a day and it still gets hit. So we've switched positions hoping to hope either see a bunch of bears or uh, see one big one. So we, we got some climbing to do. We'll get in here and get set up and uh, get things rolling.
You can see it's getting dark. We've given this bear about two and a half hours because it's really hard. It went down so fast I couldn't tell where we hit him. I know it was a good shot. Looked like it was a double longer. But now the proof is in the pudding. We're going to go down here and check out where we hit him. See if we can kind of find a bud trail. And if we can, we're going to go back to camp and get some guys to help us. It's kind of scary because it's thick down here. So let's go check this out. Well, you just saw us make a good shot on a bear. We let it lay overnight because uh, it was a big bear and you don't want to be around that food station with other bears coming in. So we decided to back out, come in the next morning and try to track this bear down. So that's what we're gonna do. I brought some help. You're right. gonna need it, it's a big bear. Let's get in there. Let's go get him. We made it into the blind. We're gonna track this bear. Hopefully he's just right down here about 50, 60 yards. We'll see. It's thick, but we got daylight with us, so let's get to looking. Did you ever find your arrow by any chance? No, he, it was stuck half out of him. And uh, in fact, we walked down to about right in here, couldn't see any blood. Uh, the guides at camp were saying there's a game trail right down here. If they could do my gut on it. Yeah, we got blood. He's going straight down the hill right here. Got blood right here. You can see we just found the arrow and it's just covered in blood. That's a great sign. I was a little nervous about it, so we're, spy we're finding little splatters of blood now. It's starting to bleed good. Looks like he went straight downhill. Still going straight down or you on the yeah, I got blood right here. I'm gonna get some too. You gotta stay on the blood, I'm just gonna walk straight down here. It's thick though, man. You're gonna have to step on it. Find him there. Well, if we got blood up there, let's see if there's some right here. We got on that game trail. You see anything over here? Just broken branches. I mean, clean broken branches coming down. Right here? There's no way. There's no way that he went back up. I mean, this is all fresh blood. That's a little fresh blood going in. He's got to be in here somewhere. See the blood? It's right there, my friend. Oh my Sweet. God. That was a big bear. That was a trail from heck there. Holy, Holy crap. I'm oh, glad he broke some branches. He took a good fall. Hell, he fell. Probably 30 yards. Rolling down that thing. He ain't moving now. Nah, I see flies. Yeah, he's piled. He's done. Holy cow. Look at that bear. That is a nice thing. Boy, that thing is. It's much deeper chocolate than it looks like on there. Oh, that is sweet. Look at the head, head on it. Yeah, he's been dead. Well, it was a smart move though, waiting, because I mean, we did a little bit of blood trail in there, but our coat is so thick, it was so hard to find. Thank his head, so we can get it out of there. He got a nice bruiser head on him. Holy smoke, this is a big old bear. That's a nice bear. Uh, he was dead last night, wasn't he? Oh, yeah. The only thing that saved us from another 30 yards was that. We uh -oh. backed out on this bear. Look at the head on Oh my goodness. Look at that stripe right down his back too. That's pretty cool. They named this bear Mohawk. In camp we showed him the footage. And you can see I hit him a little bit high. I can't tell where it must oh it 
That's the one when it come out loud. It was on a good angle. Oh, I don't think it came out. It just came in and went down through here. Oh, that's a big old dude. We got a long ways to get out of here, too. Oh, it's going to be tough. <laughs> God, look at the size of his head. Look at the head on this sucker. Look at that. I can't even raise it. Be careful because if we go, we're liable to get out with. Yeah, we've been tracking forever. I bet he rolled a good 50 yards. Look at that. There's two big, two big branches up there. Looks like a tornado came down through there. Yeah, we lost blood trail for a little bit, and our heart just cut down the mountain and said, "Man, it looks like it's going up over there, so he can't go that way." And uh, he cut down probably about what 100 yards, 100 yards down, and started working his way back this way. Came across the blood trail, yelled at us, and we came running. And it was downhill, literally, from there. And it looks like a tornado ripped through here. It was good to wait. 30 up. yards, just clear. clear this path. is so thick in here too. You got to step on these things. You're not going to slam at all. Holy cow! Well, now the work begins. We got a long ways to get out of here. Wow, what a deal. Thanks that for tracking, Lord. <laughs> Folks, Sleep, sleepless night, huh? <laughs> yeah, it was a long night. Folks, if you have any questions about going bear hunting in Wyoming with Backcountry Outfitters, you can go to their website, backcountryoutfitters.us, or go to our website, hunt, huntsleepfish.com. I'm a little tongue-tied. Oh, man. Tune in next week for more Hunt, Sleep, Fish, bringing the real outdoors to you. It's just a, a little tree saw. It's not that much extra weight. You can just carry that. Besides that, you can stop a mama bear with that for a second. Faster than I can pull this glove off and get to this knot on this uh, 357. You better do a John Wayne. <laughs> hey, everybody. <laughs> Hey everybody, welcome to Hunt, Sleep, Fish. Today we're black bear hunting in Wyoming with Backcountry Outfitters. Isn't that? Do that again.